So this is uh, again an evidence of that we are finding new ways of doing businesses, not the traditional way we've done in the past. So this, this will address the, the future, we, we believe, and it's more to come. Digitalization is important, but I'm not sure that's the differentiator going into the future because that's uh, one of the hygiene factors. You need, you, need, you need to get it done, you need to be digitalized, that's a must. And I think that we have been um, fortunate uh, to actually um, deliver on the first uh, steps of this journey uh, by tripling the business over the last, uh, over the last four years. Dear Lars, good to meet you here in the Stanton Chase office and uh, thank you for participating in the Stanton Chase Game Changer video series. Thank you for having me, it's a great pleasure to be here. You are the senior vice president of retail uh, within Mall Group, which is a global player, uh, integrated oil company operating in 33 countries uh, all over the world. And uh, the last time we met, uh, we talked about the challenges of this industry, that the OPEC uh, cartel is uh, losing power, the increasing uh, renewable energy supply. And uh, I'm, I'm curious uh, how MOL is responding, responding to, um, to these challenges and, and, and what is your role in that? I believe MOL were quite proactive uh, trying to address the, the future changes uh, a few years ago when we put together the 2030 strategy and that's basically uh, it's addressing uh, this very very rapidly changing environment so uh, thinking moving into more electrical uh, that we're going to have more electrical cars we're going to have a, a shift uh, from fossil fuel the question is exactly when but uh, I think these are the changes we are doing. We've, we've now launched new initiatives like the um, uh, Limo car sharing uh, service in Budapest uh, and, and other in initiatives. I think we are doing quite a lot actually to address this uh, changing environment. Um, Most core uh, business is the, um, is the fuel uh, stations, basically selling gasoline and, uh, and diesel uh, fuels. So um, this business model is in jeopardy. So um, how, how do you see the, the future of, um, of uh, petrol stations? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that the, of course the business model uh, will, will change, but I think the opportunity here is that we have today more than one million customers coming to our service stations every day. And we have more than 10 million customers and we have more than two million loyal customers. So the question is, what do we do with it? And that's part of the new retail strategy. Uh, we actually started uh, already in 2015, 2014-15. And we're trying to address uh, these uh, changes where we put much more emphasis on non-fuel products and also other services. You mentioned that you started this strategy when you uh, came on board in 2014 uh, to Mall. So since then, uh, the uh, EBITDA has tripled within the company. So in the, in the uh, sense of the name of our Game Changer videos, uh, you are a real Game Changer. So uh, could you please uh, share with us your um, most important decisions and uh, maybe the unconventional decisions of yours um, that, that uh, you have made during this period of time? Yeah, I mean, the, I'm not sure there is, a, there is a super answer on that, but I think the, the reality is that uh, I, think, I've, I strongly believe that uh, doing what we have done, you need to, first of all, think out of the box a bit, and you need to put some uh, really visionary targets out there. And that's nothing new. I think many have been doing that over the years, but um, what you also face when you do that is that you have a kind of a disbelief in the beginning that there is probably uh, more people uh, not believing what you want to do because they say that we cannot really do this. And that was one of the biggest challenges uh, in the beginning that we had to show and we had to put a very visionary target out there and we had to kind of uh, not convince 
but basically sell the concept of what we were, we were about to do. And even if some of their colleagues didn't think that they could do it, they are now, uh, I mean, they're in the first row of, of uh, promoting and, and pushing and driving uh, this new strategy. So bold, bold target, uh, but very clear uh, vision and target what we want to do and, and make people believe that this is possible. And then obviously uh, recruit, uh, having the, the right people uh, doing this because we need to change uh, and improve uh, capabilities. And I strongly believe uh, in, in my different um, position also in this that you should surround yourself with people who, who believe what you believe. But make no mistake, I'm not saying that you should surround yourself with people who are agreeing with you. So I'd rather have people who actually can disagree with me, challenge me, and that's for me is really kind of uh, get the, the high level of, of motivation and the high, high level of achievement uh, happening. So, but you need to have people who believe what you believe. So we need to believe in the same thing. That's where we can go there. I understand MOL is very innovative in the area of digitalization. And uh, as you are uh, working on best-in-class digital transformation project for uh, 2021, could you please uh, share what is most special approach to digital? I think digital now is uh, it's, it's kind of a, almost a buzzword. So everyone is uh, running around talking about digital transformation. And I think the key here is to really understand what it, what it means. And I, and I actually believe that we spend a lot of time to try to break it down to <clears throat> understandable, actionable uh, initiatives which are actually going to give the end of the day an advantage for our customers and consumers, because that's, that's the whole point. So the digital transformation for us will help our customers to get easier access to information about what to buy, where to buy, how to buy, so, so uh, pay, you know, you, you, you pay, uh, you order before you enter a service station, for example, you order your coffee, you order your sandwich, it's prepaid, it's prepaid, it's pre-done. So just to make the whole shopping experience uh, easier. So this is also about convenience and time. And, and how you feel about your shopping experience. So that for me is the, um, uh, the digital, uh, the most important thing of digital. Then we can go into a lot of technical details, but I think that's not really what, what's uh, what of great interest. But uh, digitalization is important, but I'm not sure that's the differentiator going into the future because that's uh, one of the hygiene factors. You need, you, need, you need to get it done. You need to be digitalized. That's a must. What was the reason for accepting this challenge within MOL for you? Oh, that, that's, a, that's a big, good question actually. I think the reason, um, uh, the reason is basically uh, quite simple, uh, the challenge. As you moved from Sweden to Central Europe with this move? Yeah, but as, as you know, I've been living in Central Eastern Europe before. Uh, I was living in Poland for five years uh, when I was running uh, the Gillette Eastern European business. Uh, so the, um, the, uh, the challenge itself, because uh, the, basically the brief was that we want to step change our retail business. And we want to we wanna have someone who can potentially think a bit different uh, versus uh, what we see today. And again, it was not because the business was bad before, but we just want to, we want to step change what we had. And I think that, that challenge uh, was really uh, appealing to me. And I like challenges, so, so that, that's why at the end of the day it was a quite, quite easy de uh, decision to say, say yes. Having said that, uh, what do you demand from your uh, leadership team as having continuously new ideas, new business concepts and to succeed? Well, um, maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word uh, what I demand. Uh, for, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we want success. But I think the more the way we are getting to success is that uh, I, I, I spend time when I recruit people to my team to really make sure that we, that we are sharing the same, uh, the same uh, why and the same uh, goals and the same uh, ambition what we want to do. Because for me, that's a starting point. 
So to, to share uh, and have the same values what you want to do, that's very important. And then obviously uh, I, I, I'm not demanding, <clears throat> but I expect, I expect uh, my team members to be, to be responsible and to, to lead you know, their teams uh, towards that, that, uh, that goal and that vision we have. And then it's really about learning and coaching. So, so um, uh, you know, we do this together. So I don't believe, believe that you can, uh, you know, this, this discussion about carrot or a stick. I think this is really when you, to have this kind of change we are, we are seeing now, you need to have, you need to get the motivation from the team. This needs to come from inside. You cannot tell people what to do, but you can, you can sell the idea. You can, you can, you can make people believe that actually things that didn't know was, was possible, it's actually possible. But then we together need to work out how that will happen. And I think that's exactly what we have done. So now I think the, the change, the movement, what we have, especially driven by Fresh Corner, is now coming really from inside. It's not about me, it's about the team. So the team is now pushing this, this, uh, this change, this movement ahead. And I think that's, that's fantastic to, to, to see. So I'm very happy about that. As a final note, one of your, one of the slogans of, uh, of Mall, when people move, we make mm -hmm. them smile. So what makes you smile? I mean, many things. <clears throat> many things make makes me smile. But I think that uh, I mean to see, to see uh, uh, team members uh, grow, and I see uh, junior people also, also kind of climbing the ranks uh, quite rapidly. And I see the success of, of, of the team. Um, I think that's fantastic. So basically, when I, when I see that people are, they, they feel good about what we are doing and we are achieving results. Because why do I feel good about that? Because I think it's sustainable. So I think if we don't feel good about what we are doing and we are passionate about what we are doing, I think it's less sustainable. So that makes me uh, feel good. Lars, thank you much for this very inspiring discussion as well as for your participation in uh, Stanton Chase Game Changers video series. I hope that we will have the chance to continue this discussion some other time as well. Thank you very much and thank you for having me. Great pleasure being here.